This store has problems with CLS. We're gonna look at it and try to understand what can cause the speed issues. This video is for the owner of the store, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into how I am looking at this. First of all, I ran a lighthouse test and I tried to see if I can spot any layout shifts on there. This is for the homepage. And of course, if we look at the timeline, we see everything appearing on the screen. And then at one point you get this um, menu on top. If we go to the Google test and look at a product page, you see that we have here 141 and uh, I've opened up all these images so that you can see them side by side. So first of all, we have the first paint, which looks like this. And then we go to this. Uh, then to this and it stays here for a while and then of course the uh, menu on top is showing and it causes everything else to, to be pushed down. This is the first issue. Then there is another issue with some other elements like the afterpay widget. So here are the screenshots. Here we have the issue where the menu on top is pushing everything down. And we also have the issue of the thumbnails appearing at the bottom. Everything is uh, changing on the page and Google sees that and it doesn't like it. So uh, to fix this, we would have to reserve some space for the bar here on top and for the thumbnails. And there is also an issue with this image. I think it's not going to load up. I mean, not for me. So if I go to a product and go to the page, for some reason, I cannot see this image show. Even if I refresh the page, I'm thinking this might be a lazy loading issue or something like that, but I'm thinking that customers won't like it. So if we, you click to zoom, you're gonna have the image, but if you don't, nothing shows up at least for me let's check this on safari as well maybe uh, it's just a chrome thing so i'm loading up the page you see the uh, layout shifting there so no the image is not showing up here uh, this is uh, probably in a conflict or something inside the code uh, you have an issue in the header and on the product page, you have other issues there that need to be solved. So let's run another test, a Lighthouse test on the product page to see what Lighthouse is going to tell us. So another test and here are the results. We're going to go to original trace and we are going to look at the paint as it comes on the screen. So we have first paint here and then some elements appear and after a while we get the header issue the header which is pushing everything down and then we have the afterpay widget which also pushes everything down yeah so addressing these issues will solve your CLS uh, this is a process that can take uh, some time we have a case where we worked on CLS starting from 73. So you see this was uh, a lot more than you have. And it we started on uh, Ju June 12th and then we uh, worked on it. So this was 73, here was 66 on the 18th. So this, this uh, metric will register the changes we are doing in about 28 days. Uh, but it depends on what we find on the theme. So it depends on on your setup and uh, if you have anything else in there that should be fixed. But in 28 days, if we address the problem in the beginning, in 28 days, you're going to have this um, CLS metric on zero, like you see here. At the end, we got point, point 0.13 and then point 0.1 and now it's uh, zero. This is how I assess a new project. Uh, this is how I'm checking the situation on uh, new websites that I see. If you like this kind of videos about Shopify and things on Shopify, 
uh, do subscribe like and i'll see you in the next one